Here with head coach Aaron Kazmarek Mallet of uh, head coach of the Southwest Minnesota State women's soccer team. Coach, let's quick recap the last week here going one and one. You earning your first career uh, win against USF uh, 2 0. Give us kind of your overall thoughts and uh, reaction to that. You know, uh, yeah, first career win, you know, certainly exciting. You know, uh, first thing I did is, is call my husband and say I have my first career win. Mm -hmm. We were all very excited. Uh, and, you know, we kind of got our, everybody kind of got on track. You know, we finally started scoring some goals, uh, creating a lot of chances, and, and, and it was it was really exciting. Yeah, for sure. Talk about uh, scoring goals. Your two seniors, uh, two of your seniors, uh, Miranda Kadena scoring her first two goals here last week. Yep. Um, also then uh, Kendall Fisher against USF, uh, breaking the assist record yep. for the school there as well. Kind of talk about your seniors and uh, their leadership they kind of had this last two weeks. You know, I think they've kind of finally got on track. You know, the, the, they have some confidence, you know, uh, they're starting to really be able to kind of have that link, mental link between all of them to figure out without having to say anything, who's going where, who's going to do what, and, and getting on the end of it. Yeah, I mean, it was fantastic. Yeah, Miranda got two goals this weekend. Uh, Kylie got the assist, I think, on both of her goals this weekend, which is another, Kylie Redmond, another one of our seniors. Um, USF, Kylie got a goal, Kendall got a goal and an assist, uh, and so our seniors are kind of finally starting to take a little bit more ownership and, and leadership and, and pulling this team along. Uh, as you said, kind of Miranda scoring the two goals, now tied for the uh, school point record here at yep. SMSU. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, losing overtime there 3 2 right yeah. away. Kind of recap quickly about that. You know, uh, I think that was probably a pretty powerful lesson uh, for everybody. You know, um, I walked away really disappointed, you know, uh, and, and so did some of the players, you know, but that's really kind of a really tough lesson to learn is, is that if you don't have the right competitive attitude and the competitive edge. It doesn't matter if you think you're better than them. It doesn't matter if you outplayed them. In soccer, you can dominate on the score sheet or on the stat sheet and every other category but goals. But if you don't dominate in the goals, you still don't win. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and I think that was a really tough lesson for us to understand. But you know, to be honest, I'm really glad that we're we're learning it now, rather than later into the season where the consequences are much greater if we if we don't start with the right attitude and mentality. Absolutely. Well, you had a full week of practice uh, under yeah. your belt here. Mm -hmm. uh, you had, on your first road trip, uh, heading to Contor Concordia St. Paul uh, this Saturday, then to yep. uh, Minnesota State. Kind of what did you go over this week in preparation for this weekend? You know, um, for us, it's been a lot more getting our intensity and our competitiveness and our confidence to where it is, rather than necessarily worrying so much about who we're going to play. You know, I think if you walk into the game with the attitude that you have every expectation of winning, and that you feel as though you can compete in those games and create opportunities, that how the other team plays is, is less important. You know, we want to focus on what we can do well, and if we can match the intensity of somebody like Minnesota State, mm -hmm. we have every intention of winning and every chance to win. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Coach. Appreciate you taking a few minutes chatting with us, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you.